Hi there, good evening. Welcome to Ray McVinney's Kitchen. I'm Minnick Bradley. I'm Ray McVinney. This is my kitchen, but... Not for much longer, Ray. Well, no, the house is for sale. We're gonna, we've got an equally good kitchen Ooh, coming up. So excited. What I'm, no, but what I was actually being right. excited about was, I'm taking a tour to South India, Ooh, yeah. 2nd to the 15th of December. And um, if you want to know more about it, check out my webpage. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll load all the information into the yeah. website for you. So it's uh, raymcvinney.com. But first of all, because we're well, inspired by India. South, South Indian food. Yeah, I thought I'd make a couple of, you know, Kiwi versions. Obviously, they're going to be my Kiwi versions of some um, Indian South Indian food, which I really love South Indian food. Yeah. It's very so whatever channel you're watching on tonight, let yeah. us know. What do you think? Um, have you been to India? Share your stories. You've been to India. I have. I love it. Yeah. It's one of my favourite places in the world. Did you go north, south? What do you think of the food? Let us know on the news feed, right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we're really interested. So, South Indian food uses a lot of tamarind, a lot of coconut, a lot of spices, but lots of fresh stuff. It's more like South, oh, Southeast Asian food, really. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two dishes tonight, so I'm going to really get my skates on. Great. They're, they're both sort of vegetable side dishes, or they could be the main sort of deal. But anyway... I'm going to do some beans with coconut, so it's really interesting because what I want to do is I'm going to make like a like a, a paste, a flavouring paste, which is kind of what they do in Southeast Asia. This is like a South Indian version. I've got some toasted cumin seeds and about a cup of I love cumin seeds. coconut. So do I. Really? I really do. I love yeah. Them. yeah, they're really lovely. Coconut. And a couple so you've gone for shredded coconut? Yep, yep yeah, yeah. Well, it is desiccated in that it's dried, but okay, I, I want perfect. that like big, big, big yeah, big yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Um, half a small red onion. Awesome. Which, so red onion, not the brown one. Yeah, I don't want it. I don't want it to be really. Um, uh, I want. It, yeah, I want it quite, quite mild. Yeah, yeah, quite right. mild. So, so I'm going to make all this into a paste in this thing here. So. Green chilies, coconut, um, Yum. cumin seeds, some purple onion, some red onion, and three cloves of garlic. Oh, garlic. Yep. That's going to be really nice. Loads of flavour and yeah, well, loads is, of aroma too. Yeah, it's going to go with green beans. So, I like it. You know. Because yeah. beans tend to be quite neutral, so to add... Well, they have that nice crunchy yeah, sort do. of flavour, which I really like. So, you know... All these spicy things go really well with it. Now you've yeah. already had people asking in the news suite tonight, um, how much do you want for your house, Ray? Oh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it is really beautiful, yeah. by the way. So um, if you get a chance, you can probably find it online. Have a look through yeah, these videos. Yeah, online, right? yeah. And Linda Vetter has said hi on the Bite page. Hi to you, Linda. Great hey, to Linda. see you on the stream. How are you? Awesome. Right. Now, I've watched you over the years. Why is it fast? Why is it? Is it faster to smash the garlic? Yeah, much like faster. Oh. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah. Like cut the root end of squash it, just pops out of its skin. What do you think yeah. of those those machines you can put your garlic in and you rub it together? Lovely, and... lovely, lovely, but just one more thing you have to wash oh, afterwards. Good point. Um, I've got fresh turmeric. Now if you haven't got fresh whoops, See? thank you very give much. Wash, give, that a wash. give it a rinse, yeah. yeah. Fresh turmeric. Yeah. I mean we just got that at our local Fruit and veggie and Mount Roskill. Didn't cost a lot, last couple of weeks in the fridge, and um, it's a lovely alternative to, thank you. Thank you. To using ground, you know, dried um, turmeric. Yeah. You can use that in here if you want to. I think I said to use half a teaspoon or something like that, but I'm gonna put all of this in there. So just peel it like you would ginger. Do you need to be careful, because I've never used turmeric that yeah. way, I've always used the dried stuff. Yeah. Do you have to be careful with it on your skin like you do with the powdered it stuff? It can kind of stain your skin, but see the colour of it? It's, it's like a it's not, Yeah, it's not as dark yeah. as um, as dried turmeric. Right. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, we're going to chop that up. Excellent. Linda's just said tasty mix there. Yeah, it's a tasty mix, Linda. It certainly is. A little bit of water just to get all that going. And somebody's asked how much garlic was it? It was three cloves of garlic. Three cloves of garlic. Yeah, right. Now you've got to listen to this while I grind the stuff up. Hold on. Great. Sarah Young. Hi, Sarah. Sarah. So what I want is really sort of like chunky paste here. Yeah. I want a bit of salt in there as well, actually. I love these. I love these mixes. I actually really love gadgets, so this is. Ah. <laughs> or 
awesome. If you want the recipe, by the way, and you've just joined the stream, you can go to Ray's website, raymcvinnie.com, and the recipe is actually already loaded there. At the moment, there's a picture of green beans on there because that's part of tonight's dish. And after the stream, we'll take a photo of the finished dish and upload it onto the website for you guys. Right. Can you smell it? Yeah. It's really yeah. Nice. Bit of a performance grinding oh, it up. Like it. Gotta get it done though. Look All right. This sort of paste could like because I love that smell. Yeah. That's coming through. Could I use that on something like like stuff it in the middle of a chicken breast yep. and then bake it? Yeah, and they also do something like this very similar. Um, although it's more of a northern, slightly more northern thing. Yeah. Where they'll put it inside a piece of fish, wrap it up in um, nice. banana leaves and then steam it, which is really, really oh, good. Oh, that'd be really cheap. Right, so look, that's my little flavour paste thing. Pete, we're going to do a little bit of running backwards and forward to the stove. Over here, I've got some dried red chilies, which I dried myself. Love them. And some mustard seeds and the actual beans. Question about your chilies. Yeah. How do you dry them? Oh, I just spread them out on a like on the newspaper or something, left them in the sun. It was really hot, if, like a few yeah, weeks ago. A few weeks remember? Ago. Yeah. So it's not a, it's not hard at all. Yeah, no, yeah. it's cold. All right. Okay, Pete. Let's go over to the stove. Joanne Guerra has just said hi, Ray, um, over on the Bite page. Cool. And um, there are lots of people asking you about the roast. Are you going to do? Oh, am I going to do a roast? roast? How can I do a roast in half an hour? <laughs> I'll have to have two roasts, you know. That's yeah. true. Natasha yeah. Wilkinson has also just said hello. Hi, Tash. Good to see you on the stream. All right. So we're getting this frying pan hot. I've got some grapeseed oil here, so I'm going to use. I want a neutral. Vegetable oil, three tablespoons of that, and mustard seeds, which are going to go pop, 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 pop all over the place. Beautiful. Yeah, but you know, you get this. And see those leaves over there in that? Can the lower bring... one? Yeah. Can I have those? These are sure. curry leaves. Oh, yum. Yeah, so you know what curry leaves are. Smell. Yeah. Break it up, you know, squash yeah. it and smell it. Yeah. So I want to I wanna get a um, handful of those as well oh, yeah. before I, you know, oh, that's great. do the bean thing here. Oh, wow. Right. Are we hot? We're almost hot. Getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. Hey, now remember everybody, while you're, if you're watching, okay. wherever you're watching from, you can message in and say hi, because we're completely live right now. So I need to get a handful of curry leaves. Because I'm going to fry those as well. As soon as that gets hot. Oh, I can smell the curry leaves. They're great. They smell just like curry. They do. I know, it's mad. So the mustard seeds are going to pop and kind of go yeah, through these. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, we'll just wait for that to get going. We're just getting hot here. Perfect. Okay. Why haven't you chopped up that chilli? Because I basically just want to sort of scent this with chilli. I don't want to make it really, really hot. Gotcha. I want a chilli flavour and a little bit of heat. Gotcha. Yeah. And in South, South Indian food, they do a lot of spice te tempering too, where they fry spices. Yes. And I'm going to do that on the next dish. I'm going to pour it over afterwards. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. So these things just go all over the kitchen. Oh, they do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But never mind. Here we go. All right. So to see they're turning grey. Can you eat them? Like one? No, no, no. Way too hot. Whoops. Okay. Okay. Those go in there. Let's fry those. Yeah. Look. Stand back. You know. Yeah, beans are going to go in next. In go the beans. We're going to a little stir fry for a little while. We just had a comment come through from somebody called Foster who said, Thanks, Ray, you've really inspired me. I really want to start cooking. That's what we like. That's what we like. That's yeah. definitely what we like, yeah. All right, so I want to get oh, these all. Smells smell. Awesome. I know, smell this mustard seeds and oh, the curry yeah. leaves. Yeah, really nice. So good. Whoops. And the curry leaves go really crisp. Love that. Really nice. Okay. So we're just going to get that. Yeah, we get a little bit of water over here. Now, Carol Lloyd has just said, I saw a curry leaf plant at Palmer's and Whangarei yesterday. It was all I could do not to buy it. <laughs> you should have bought it, Carol. Yeah. Right, and now that is the paste I made out of the coconut, and that's going to go in to there now. That's awesome. Those flavours are going to be yep. amazing. Yeah, no, that'll be good. 
And then, smell good? Yeah, it smells amazing. Okay. This is a really good vegetarian dish. It's a really nice vegetarian dish. It's really, really good. It's going to be great with fish. It's going to be good with chicken, you know? Wow. Turn the heat down just a little. Do okay. you have to steam the, the um, No, they're, they're raw. They're going to cook now. I'm going to put the lid on for a while. Oops. Just throwing that over there. And I'm going to add a touch of water, just a little bit, just enough to make a little bit of steam. Right. Turn we'll allow them to steam through. Yep. So it'll be turned a bit still crispy? Yeah. Oh, it's still, it's still a bit yep. of crunch. Now that's going to be ready in about five minutes. Awesome. All you got to do is oh, taste them. Smell it's right. amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I this, wish you guys could, could have, yeah. I wish we had smell a vision. I know, this, I know. This is so good. But that, that's the that whole thing about South Indian um, cookery. It's made of really lovely fresh ingredients and it's very aromatic. Yeah. And I really, really like it. So we'll turn oh. that down a bit. So what you can smell in the kitchen right now is all the, all the flavours coming out of the paste. Yeah. It's incredible. So that's going to cook there and I'm going to get on with the rice. Okay, Pete. Awesome. Sorry, old chap, we're back over here. <clears throat> Great, there's some people saying, um, these guys, Foster and Ellen. Oh yeah, Foster and Ellen. And they mm -hmm. said, we owe our love of food to you, Ray. Oh, That's very sweet. Biggest compliment I've been paid. Yeah, Thank you. that's really cool. Right, I steamed some rice. I do it in a pot, you know, the recipe, it's all in the recipe if you want to do it. Otherwise, use a rice cooker, they're really good. And... So you use the absorption method? I use right? the absorption method, yeah. Awesome. Now this is yogurt rice. You eat it warm, you eat it cold, you take it for lunch, kids take it for their lunches. I just love this. This is like Indian sort of soul food, you Yum. know, South Delicious. Indian soul food. Yeah, um, up in the north they call it dahi bhat. Um, and I think down in um, Tamil Nadu they call it masuru ana. Yeah. Wow. So that's like rice that's been... Yeah. Basically just steamed with the absorption method. That was one and a half cups of rice. With what? Three cups of water? Um, Two and a half? About 1.5 centimetre okay. above the level of the rice. Right. Yeah. Oh, and um, Pete just asked, can you do that measurement again? Oh, so it was about that, that much? About, about that much above the level of the rice. One, one and a half centimetres probably, yeah. Get rid of this. So I've got this warm rice going on here. I, seriously, I wish you guys could honestly smell what's going on in the kitchen. <laughs> it's, it's, I know, I'm going to give it a little stir up the actually. The beans, yeah. and then because I love the smell of rice as well. There's so many aromas in here, it really is lovely. If you get the chance, you have to try this recipe. It's on the front page of Ray's website, raymcvinney.com. Yeah. Okay, so I've got the warm rice here. And I've got a tablespoon of ginger, which I carefully chopped up into... Just little matchsticky things and Yum. a grated carrot. Love now grated carrot. you can do this with like a green mango. So of course it's the texture I'm oh, wanting. Wow. Yeah. Green mango is that in season now? Can no. you get it now? No, no. No. Can you get it in New Zealand? Um, I suppose you can. Yeah. Go from the markets or something. Un like unripe that? mangoes. Yeah, yeah. basically. Um, and one and a half uh, cups of well, it's Gopala yogurt actually, which it's, I don't know why anybody doesn't buy Gopala yogurt in the, the supermarket. Not getting paid to say this. What is it? Two dollars eighty or something for a litre, and, 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 and it's and no thickeners, no chemicals, no additives. It's made so out of good. yogurt. It's made out of milk and cultures. Yeah. Yeah. So on goes the yogurt. So how much have you got in there? About one and one and a half cups. cups? cups? Yeah. So I started out with one and a half cups of rice, which of course swelled up, yes. and then a one and a half cups of right. yogurt as well. Awesome. And then just sort of fold that through. Oh, a little bit of salt and pepper. Don't need to season it up. Jack Dobson just said how much. Um, you get your yogurt for two dollars seventy nine, right? I think, I look, I don't quote me, but it's something like that. I think yeah. mine because I get the same yogurt three dollars twenty nine for a litre in Ponsby. Yeah, such good, such a great brand. All right, so this is this is like mild. It's really good for your stomach. Good for your stomach really good stomach. for you. Yeah. So just sort of fold that through so that there's no big lumps of carrots and things left in there. Beautiful. So as I say, if you've got a green mango or something, you could do a green grated green mango instead yes. of carrot. I never thought to mix yogurt and rice together. Indians have been doing it for centuries, and it's just one of the most lovely things. It really is. Okay. 
That's now, so simple. It, it is definitely so simple. Just go and take a look at those beans. Okay, look at yep. the beans. Give you them guys a bit of a stir feel up. Feel free to send your um, send your comments and your questions through. Um, Julie Blanchard has just said, "What was the yogurt? It's Gopala yogurt. You get it in most of the main supermarkets in New Zealand. It comes in one litre tubs, and they've got varieties of full, like thick and creamy. Yeah, like there's all fat, yeah, a, like a light fat version. They're amazing. But the whole really point good. about this yogurt is, it's really, really cheap. It's what yogurt should cost you. Yeah, it's only made out of the things that you're supposed to make yogurt out of. It's not pudding full of sugar no. and thickness and all that stuff." And um, when you open it up, you see, might see a little bit of whey at the top. You just pour that off. You don't worry about it. Yeah, it's yeah. so good. Yeah, it's really, really good. Lisa Danger has just said, miss watching you on MasterChef. Oh, well, you know. Have a look at the final of MKR. I'm on that in, in the judging panel for that. Yeah. And right. Joanne Gira has just said, yum, I'll have to try this. I know, right? <clears throat> this is so good. So Smelling look, great. Well, I think we'll put everything on this one platter okay. tonight. Now over here I've got more mustard seeds and I've got some chopped up cashew nuts. Comes from the south, you know, yeah, like down the south of India. It's like my favourite, favourite yeah. combination. Yeah, and they possibly would have used um, a little ura dal instead of cashew oh, yeah. nuts, but I kind of like cashew nuts, so I'm going to use that. Yeah. So, I'm, Pete, I'm going to go back over there. Oh no, I'm going to put this onto the plate first, because I'm going to slightly sort of deconstruct this yeah. a wee bit. So... Ah, now Jack Dobson's just asked how much olive oil. What in? And when you did the beans. No, no, I didn't use olive oil. I used grapeseed oil because I didn't want it to um, taste like olives. And obviously, olive oil is the wrong sort of ingredient for an Indian, for an Indian, um, you know, dish. So I used grapeseed oil, and it was three tablespoons. But is it Jack? Yeah, it was Jack, Jack Dobson. That recipe's on on the website. So, you know, if you want that, the recipes for this, you just go right ahead and have a awesome. look there. Okay. All right. So, put that there. Now, what they do in South India is when they make a dish, they'll often then they'll fry some spices and they'll pour it over the top. And that's oh. what I'm going to do now. Okay. So, it's the... Back over to the stove. Back over to the stove. And it's the mustard seeds, the cashew nuts, and the curry leaf routine. So, we'll just turn that back on. Fantastic. Yep, and turn this on. And I'm going to get us some mustard seeds happening for... Yeah, hey, so Jack, this is grapeseed oil. Sort of like a... You know, it doesn't have a strong flavour, but it's vegetable oil. So we'll put that in there. Two, three, that's about enough of that. <laughs> yeah, no, it'll work. It'll work. And get me a handful of curry leaves. So these are out of your garden? No, no, no it's a tropical plant. Tropical plant, okay. Yeah, no, I bought these. I was going to yeah. say, where did you get them from? Just the supermarket? Um, uh, up Mount Eden, uh, Mount Roskill. Oh, yeah, right. uh, from yeah, the Indian right. shop, yeah. And that is now ready, so that can go in there. And that's very hot, I'd stand back, because it's the whole right. mustard seed syndrome again. Here they go. <laughs> and I wanted to spray those um, nuts a wee bit. In go the curry leaves. Give it a good, makes a bit of a mess of the stove, but hey, you know, that's all right. I don't mind. Oh, now Lorraine Baker's just asked, what sh what's the dish tonight, please? I arrived late. Two dishes. Two dishes. We're making a delicious um, South Indian dish. What's the official Yogurt, product? rice, and um, beans with coconut. Beautiful. Recipes yeah. on Ray's website. All right, Ray I can McMinnage smell that. They've popped. They're fine. So, okay, Pete, we'll finish it over here now. You Okay. I know, you're dancing as fast as you can. So curry leaves, mustard seeds, and um, fried cashews on top. Smell it. Amazing. Can you smell it? Yeah, I can. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Generally, if this was, um, you know, an Indian person do it, they'd be folding all this through it, but I'm just wow. going to put it on there. <laughs> because That's when so people good. start to eat it, of course, you know, yeah. it'll... Um, it will get mixed up. So why haven't you put that on top of the beans? Because I'm going to put the beans down the side. Oh, fancy. So I want, you know, just in case we weren't sure if it was hot enough, we'll just have a little <laughs> more green chilli. And the greens are hotter than the red, No, right? different sort of heat. Okay. Yeah. I like green chillies a lot, I have to say. 
Um, I'll just put a little bit of green chilli on there. Now, there's a few people who are actually saying yeah. that they would put olive oil with this. Um, I have to say that I've been known to put olive oil with this. I generally <laughs> stay away from mixing the ingredients of different cultures because they generally don't taste. But when you've got something as highly flavoured as this, you're probably not going to taste the oil. But technically, use a not too strongly flavoured vegetable oil, okay? Yeah. Awesome. Right, and the beans should be ready now. Let's have a look at the beans. Let's taste the beans. Let's see what the beans taste like. You're doing good. Oh yeah. Then it's salt. Okay? I'm then very happy. Salt? I'm very happy. Now Tracy Marie has just messaged in and she said that she misses seeing you all the time on the on your streams. And oh, um, sorry, Tracy Marie. a big love to you from her and her son Bradley, who's a really good Oh good okay, fan. thank you very much. And this look. You guys. And this is the, the beans. That is amazing, right? And all I'm going to do is put some beans down here. Now listen, the, you know, as I say, this is really good with like barbecued chicken, pan fried fish, um. anything like that. But I just thought instead of doing the protein thing tonight, it'd be really nice to do some a couple of vegetarian things. Yum. Oh, the aroma is incredible. Yeah, just beautiful, isn't it? So good. Yeah, and no, I, this would never be served like this in India. This is a total Kiwi interpretation of this type of food, but I really like it. Yeah, it's great. There's people who are saying, oh, yum, you're making me hungry. What do you guys think? Is this something you'd make? Does it look beautiful? It, it looks amazing here in Ray's Kitchen. Smell would it. Would you guys make it? Yeah, people are going, yum, I have to try this. That's awesome. Let us know in the news week. What do you think? All right, and hang on. The last thing I want to put on there is... <laughs> it's so good. I know. It isn't too bad, eh? Oh, Not wow. too shabby at all. Have you ever had a dry aloo gobi without, yes. without the curry sauce? Yeah. This is what it kind of I smells like it. a little yeah. bit like. Yeah. It's got the similar kind of, I guess it's the, cumin like, and stuff. Dry potato or curry. Or sabji, which yep. is what I've made. Yep. Really nice. And we're just going to put some coriander curry on top. Oh, and amazing. quite sort of green and busy and vegetarian. But hey... I love Five it. Five minutes to spare, and I thought we weren't going to get through it wow. tonight. Yeah, so some vegetarian things. But if you really want to, um, you know, taste some amazingly delicious uh, South Indian food, come on this trip with me, 2nd to the 15th of December this year. I've checked, you know, been through the hotels. Hotels are great. Restaurants are great. You get restaurants. We're doing a lot of cooking demonstrations. So Plus, cool. you get to check out all the culture and the temples and everything. Oh. Start in Chennai on the right-hand side of the bottom of India and wiggle your way right across the country over to Kochi, which is the other side on the other coast. Oh, look, and if you haven't been to mm. India, it is one of my favorite destinations in the world. I went to northern India, but you've got to go. The details for the trip will be loaded onto Ray's Facebook page and onto his website website as well and if you want to find out more just send a message through and uh, Ray will connect you yep. with the right people who can tell you more about the tour this is amazing so there you go yeah a That's, little a little piece of mm. India South India in your own kitchen I'd love to know will you make it send us some oh yep we've got some thumbs coming through in the good, news good, good. Yep. I want to know will you make it will you try it and if you do make this over the next week can we see a send picture us a yeah, we'd love to see a picture of it yeah, yeah. totally yeah. Okay. I know that's on my list of things to make over the next week because it smells amazing. Can I try it? You can absolutely try it. It's the best yep. part. <laughs> there you go. I mean, I love cooking, but trying it as well. Might need a bit of salt. No, I think, I think I'm okay. Okay, you have to have a little bit of everything. Oh, yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. It's just the loveliest of two, just a couple of my real favourite oh, dishes. the texture is great. It's, the texture is really interesting because it's creamy. Mm. And then the rice is creamy. Yeah. You've got to try that this week. The, the recipe is already loaded onto Ray's website, raymcvinney.com. Give it a whirl. Let us know what you think. You are going to love this. I can pretty much guarantee it. Ray, that's been fun. Yeah, it was You've fun. Been good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hey. hey, end of the year in India. Yeah, absolutely. Also, let us know in the news feed what other recipes would you like to see? Simon Gold. Oh, Simon Gold. Is Simon watching? What's Simon doing? Why wasn't I invited to the MKR final? I don't oh. know, Simon. What am I, your agent? I mean, you know, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's uh, who you know. It's who you know, Simon. Isn't it? Isn't it right? Yeah, no, Simon knows everyone, don't oh, you? Oh, yeah, he does, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, Hi, Simon. Yeah. Nice to see you. And don't forget, he's got that lovely restaurant giraffe. I know. Yeah. So. Very excited. All right. So nice our, work, our work is done. 
Excellent. It's yeah. dinner time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Ray. A great stream. Thank you, my next. And let yeah. us know what you want to see in these streams. We stream every month, so we'd love to keep connected. Let's keep that conversation going. And remember, you can join Ray in South India. Details coming out for you very soon. Thanks to Pete, who's behind the camera, yeah, and our thanks, producer. Pete. He's the genius that makes this all happen. And thanks to you guys for watching. See you next time. See you later.